In this video, we'll be showing how to do sentiment analysis in Excel. So here, as you can see, we have some customer reviews and we would like to give each review a sentiment where it's either positive, negative or neutral and also a score. And this score is between zero and one. And the closer the score is to one, that means the more positive the score is and the closer it is to zero, then it's negative and if it's around 50 percent then it would be neutral so we'll see how to do that in excel so we'll give a score based on the text or the opinion that our customers give to us all right so without further ado let's get started all right so in order to do the sentiment analysis in excel for our customer reviews we need to add an add-in to excel and this is available only in excel 365 and the add-in is the azure machine learning add-in so to do that we need to go to our home tab and then we need to go to add-ins and here we're going to click on more add-ins and we're going to search for azure so a-z-u-r-e and press enter and we'll have the azure machine learning add-in here so we're going to add that and we'll continue and now as you can see here the add-in has been added and we need to choose here text sentiment analysis so we'll choose that and then here the first input we need to provide is the data that we need to get the sentiment for and if you check my data has headers then you're going to provide it including the header so the data or the text or the reviews are in this column here in column b and we we'll press ok and for the data it's very important that the column would have this header name here, which is tweet underscore text. It cannot have any other name. So for example, if we change that to customer reviews and then we proceed to defining the output, so the output here is going to be where the sentiment and the scores are going to be outputted. So because we started here from the first row, because we included the headers, so we need to give C1, cell C1 here from the first row so that we would have the sentiments correctly added to each review. And we'll click on predict. So if we click on predict now, we're actually going to have an error because this column has a column header of customer reviews. It cannot be customer reviews. It cannot be anything other than tweet underscore text. So this is very important, guys. So if we do that, if we change it and then click on predict again here, you can see here that Azure is going to work. It's magic here. And as you can see here, we're going to get a sentiment for each review or text that we have here. So we get the results. So after getting the results, we can do some analysis on these results. We can, for example, insert a pivot table here. So I'm going to insert a pivot table from table or range. And as you can see here, it's detected the range correctly. And I'm going to insert it to a new worksheet and could put uh, the sentiment field here in the rows area. So this is the sentiment type, whether it's negative or neutral, positive. And then we're going to put it on the submission of values area as well. So this is going to give us how many reviews were negative or had a negative sentiment and how many had a neutral sentiment and how many had a positive sentiment. So as you can see here, we have a total of 10, six positive, one neutral and three negative. We could also put the score here in the values area and we can just change that to the average of the score. So this will give us the average score as well and if we also click here on value field settings we could change the number format for that to be a percentage so that we would have a percentage here so click ok and ok again and now we have percentages for our scores as you can see here all right guys so this is how you can perform sentiment analysis in excel with the help of the azure machine learning add-in in excel 365 all right guys so this concludes our video today so if you found the video helpful please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future videos and please make sure to follow us on social media you'll find the links down below in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video